this is uh, 21st lecture which then we are going to start this is the 21st lecture this is the 21st lecture in this lecture we will discuss the impact of monetary policy under a fixed percent rate on mental planning model that is very interesting under mandal claiming model so here we will discuss the impact of monetary policy under fixed exchange rate on mandal claiming model already what you have done the types of uh, the forms of monetary policy two forms of monetary policy we have discussed already the first one is the expansionary monetary policy the second one is a contractory monetary policy now in this table in the pink color table you can see here but in this table we find the comparison between under floating exchange rate and under fixed exchange rate okay here we are going to discuss the comparison between floating exchange rate and fixed exchange rate for monetary policy so what will be effect there uh, directly we are going to discuss directly we are going to discuss the mandel claiming model diagram please follow the diagram on the vertical axis exchange rate on the horizontal axis income do you remember okay first is curve is is one this blue color first lm curve is lm one this blue color now the first equilibrium place is over here at this exchange rate at this equilibrium place exchange rate is fixed with fixed line you can see here the fixed exchange rate this is a fixed exchange rate which is fixed by the central bank okay and the equilibrium level of income is y1 okay y1 this one is a simple presentation of mandel claiming model already aapko ye pata hai now ab economy mein recession ki condition hai रिसेशन की कंडीशन में हम कौन सी मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी अप्लाई करेंगे इंप्लीमेंट करेंगे ओके व्हिच मॉनेट व्हिच फॉर्म ऑफ मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी विल बी फॉलोड बाय द सेंट्रल बैंक टू रिमूव द रिसेशन फ्रॉम द इकॉनमी सो ही इज वेरी क्लियर इन केस ऑफ रिसेशन एक्सपेंशनरी मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी is the most 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 suitable option is the most 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 suitable option to remove the recession that is another point whether recession is removed or not humne beta expansionary monetary policy implement karni hai fir uske baad ye next point hai ki uske sath recession रिजोल्व होता ही नहीं होता रिसेशन खत्म होता ही नहीं होता ये बात की बात है लेट्स कम लेट्स अप्लाई मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी इजी एक्सपेंशन मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी इन दिस केस व्हाट हैपेंड टू द मार्केट स्टेट बैंक अप्लाई एक्सपेंशन मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी 
money supply curve shift to the right. Money supply curve shift to the right. As money supply curve shift right, LM curve also shift right. You can see with the red color LM curve, LM curve too. Getting the point? Here, the new equilibrium point is over here. We are over here at new equilibrium point. At new equilibrium point, we are over here. Okay. When we are over here, as money supply increases, LM curve shift right. Now, as LM curve shift right, income level increases. We reach new equilibrium point from here to here. You can see at this equilibrium point. Can we follow the follow the cursor? This is a new equilibrium point E2. Suppose E2. At this equilibrium point, exchange rate has decreased. If exchange rate is floating E2 and income level has been increased from Y1 to Y2, that is the, that is the first impact of monetary policy to remove the recession. That is the first part. Now, our next point is very clear. Now, exchange rate has been decreased and income level increased and recession problem has been resolved from the economy. Overall income level but increase ho gaya, recession economy se around about khatam ho chuka hai. Income level logo ko bad gaya hai. Now, but the problem is that exchange, uh, the State Bank has uh, announced the fixed exchange rate at E1, not at E2. This fixed exchange rate policy, this fixed exchange rate policy, this fixed exchange rate policy will affect, will force the State Bank to fix the exchange rate at E1. Now, the fixed policy is that the state bank is not going to fix the E1 to E2. That's a very genuine, genuine issue. Now, the state bank is not going to fix the E1 to E2. We will have to say that the state bank will shift the LM curve to fix the exchange rate. Now, the state bank will decrease the money supply. To shift the LM curve. Now, LM curve. Now, state bank will fix the exchange rate at E1 by shifting LM curve left. Now, state bank ke pass kya policy policy will be changed by the bank. That is, second one option, a state bank will decrease money supply to fix the exchange rate at E1. Exchange rate will shift LM curve back to LM1 to fix the exchange rate. Up LM2, LM1 ki taraf kaisi shift hoga by decreasing money supply. By decreasing money supply. As money supply decreased by the increase by the state bank, LM curve
Okay, sorry for that. As LM curve shift back, we reach back to the original, the first equilibrium point at E1, where fixed exchange rate has been achieved, but we find no change in income level at Y1. Okay, as LM curve shift back, exchange rate is fixed, and we reach over here, the first equilibrium point, where exchange rate is E1, not E2, where exchange rate is fixed, by the state bank, by shifting LM curve left, we have no change in income, no change in exchange rate, now we are going to discuss the comparison. Get ready to discuss the comparison. What happened to under floating exchange rate? Under floating exchange rate, as monetary policy, as expansion in monetary policy in recession is implemented in the economy, then this monetary policy is very effective at changing output level. This monetary policy in case of floating exchange rate is very effective at changing output level. जब बेटा exchange rate floating था, आप यहाँ पर E2 पे आ गए थे, वहाँ पे income level भी change हो गया था, और आप recession से निकल गए थे. But under fixed exchange rates, monetary policy, expansionary monetary policy in recession is not effective at changing exchange rate does not affect output level as a result no change exchange rate no change in output level but that is, that is the point we have done that is very easy point okay so now we have done now we have done the effect of monetary policy we have done the impact of expansive monetary policy in inflation under fixed exchange rate on output level and exchange rate after the implementation of Expansion monetary policy, we find no change in exchange rate and no change in output level. That is the point, but a very easy. Okay, hopefully, you have done this point. You understand everything, but okay. The next point is uh, the trade policy under fixed exchange rate. This is also so easy, no problem. So, under fixed exchange rate, under fixed exchange rate, what kind of effect? of trade policy will be on Mundell framing model. Similarly, in the pink table, we will see the comparison between fixed exchange rate and floating exchange rate. It is very much easier. It is so easy. Okay. What is which kind of trade policy? Country is surviving with the trade deficit. Country is surviving with trade deficit. But our past trade 
सेकल साइकल की प्रोसेस होती है एज यू नो वी फाइंड टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ आई थिंक आई ओके नो फोर फॉर्म्स ऑफ बिजनेस साइकल फर्स्ट फॉर्म इज एक्सपेंशन देन बूम देन रिसेशन देन ट्रंक फर्स्ट फॉर्म इज एक्सपेंशन economic activities are going up that is the expansion in the economy that is the expansion of business sector then we reach at boom point where economic activities at the highest point at the peak then economic activities with the passage of time decline over the time then economic activities decline this one we say recession the low est point the low est point of economic activities is the trunk so these are the four forms of economic activity four forms of economic activity so here one thing that you not mention here you must keep in your mind that economic our uh, economy pakistan economy is facing a deficit the deficit means that exports are low imports are high then four forms are trade cycle trade cycle is a combination of four forms surplus boom in trade deficit in trade and drawdown in trade first form of trade is surplus in trade boom in trade deficit in trade then drawdown in trade these are the four forms of trade then here the economy is in the uh, deficit position when trade activities are getting lower and lower and lower, lower. अब ट्रेड डेफिसिट सिचुएशन कब होती है जब एक्सपोर्ट कम हो इंपोर्ट ज्यादा हो इस तरह पाकिस्तान की सिचुएशन है इंपोर्ट पाकिस्तान की बहुत ज्यादा है और एक्सपोर्ट पाकिस्तान की बहुत कम है तो इन दिस ट्रेड डेफिसिट सिचुएशन नाउ अंडर फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट विच ट्रेड पॉलिसी विल बी फॉलो टू स्टॉप ट्रेड डेफिसिट to remove trade deficit trade deficit ko remove karne ke liye kaun si trade policy follow ki jayegi that, that is the question so here the protectionist trade policy is the most suitable option the protectionist trade policy is the most suitable option which we we can say protectionist trade policy we can say strict trade policy we can say tight trade policy is the most suitable option to remove the deficit in trade cycle okay ye line yaad rakhni bahut important hai ye line okay ab kaun si policy hum kaun si form we use karenge hum iske tools kya hai protectionist trade policy ke strict trade policy ke tools kya hai first tool is ka beta hai import tariff import tariff the second hum uske pa iska tool kya hai import quota to form two tools to instrument of strict trade policy first instrument is import tariff second tool is import quota okay in case of import tariff import tariff means taxes on imports import quota means to to identify the limits of import to strict the level of imports by the government okay agar government let's see government imposes taxes on imports 
in case of import tax. As government imports, taxes and imports, that is import tariff, this will, what will be happen to the economy? As import tariff will be imposed, import level will be decreased. Import level will be decreased. अब क्या होगा अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल पाकिस्तान चाइना से कंप्यूटर एक्सपोर्ट करता है इम्पोर्ट करता है पाकिस्तान देखता है कि पाकिस्तान में जो अपनी कंप्यूटर की बिक्री वो दबाव होती जा रही है ट्रेड डेफिसिट में जा रही है अब क्या किया जा रहा है तो पाकिस्तान क्या करेगा पाकिस्तान इम्पोर्ट पे टैरिफ लगा देगा जो तो चाइना से कंप्यूटर लगाते हैं उस पर टैरफ लगा देगा चाइनीज कंप्यूटर पर टैरफ लगाने का इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा टैक्स इम्पोज करने का इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा इम्पोर्ट्स कम हो जाएगी जो चाइनीज कंप्यूटर आएगा उसकी प्राइस भी बढ़ जाएगी इसका पहला क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा पाकिस्तान में जॉब्स क्रिएट होना शुरू हो जाएगी जॉब सेव होना शुरू हो जाएगी एम्प्लॉयमेंट क्रिएट होना शुरू हो जाएगी सेकंड क्या होगा पाकिस्तान की इम्पोर्ट चाइना से कम होना शुरू हो जाएगी पाकिस्तान की इम्पोर्ट चाइना से क्या हो जाना कम कम होना शुरू हो जाएंगी ओके इंपोर्ट कम होगी इंपोर्ट टैरिफ का इम्पैक्ट क्या हुआ इंपोर्ट्स कम हो अब हम बात करते हैं इंपोर्ट कोटा की फॉर एग्जाम्पल गवर्नमेंट लिमिट साइज द इम्पोर्ट नाउ पाकिस्तान कैन इंपोर्ट ओनली फिफ्टी थाउजेंड कंप्यूटर्स ओवर आईसीयर इंस्टेड ऑफ वन लैक वन लैक की बजाय फिफ्टी थाउजेंड कंप्यूटर इंपोर्ट करेगा जब कम कंप्यूटर इंपोर्ट हो गए देन उनकी देन फर्स्ट डायरेक्ट इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा इंपोर्ट्स कम हो जाएगी ओके इन बोथ केसेस इन केस ऑफ इंपोर्ट कोटा एंड इंपोर्ट टैरिफ इंपोर्ट्स डिक्रीज जैसे ही इंपोर्ट्स डिक्रीज होगी नेट एक्सपोर्ट पे क्या इंपैक्ट होगा नेट एक्सपोर्ट इज इक्वल टू एक्सपोर्ट माइनस import as import decreases net export increases you know increases and aggregate demand net export is a part of aggregate demand c plus i plus d plus net export jab one component increase karega the aggregate demand par jayegi when aggregate demand increases is curve shift right with green Color with red color is two. Is is two. That is the first action of trade policy. That is the first influence, first effect of strict trade policy under fixed exchange rate on mandatory minimum order. What happened with the first action? New IS two intersects LM one at this point. At this point, as you know, where exchange rate has been increased. Exchange rate has been increased from E one to E two, but we find no change in income level. This is the first influence of. Trade policy and the fixed exchange rate in by import tariff or import quota. The first impact be kya hua beta? Kya is curve aapka shift ho gaya? Is one se is two with red red color. The new equilibrium point over here. There we find no change in income, but we find a change. But We find little change in exchange rate. Exchange rate has been increased. That is the point of discussion. The first influence you keep in your mind. Then the remaining things we will discuss in the next lecture. If you have any issue in the lecture, you can ask your question. Okay. Now I am going to. Close the. Uh...